Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this video is continuation of my previous video there we had started exploring concept about the double accumulator class. And this was the one of the uh, new addition in the Java 8 in package is called java.util.concurrent.atomy. So we have seen this example in the previous video tutorial. Uh, so this code I am not gonna explain again if you want to understand this code then I will recommend you to go and watch my previous video tutorial and then come to watch this video so here uh, in this video tutorial we are going to see some of the I mean important API which is available in this class uh, it's called double accumulator so here I'm going to explore some of the class so while exploring this concept in previous video tutorial we have already seen two class two methods in uh, double accumulator first was the get right so basically get method returns is returns you the final result right which is getting accumulated by calling this accumulator of function which we are calling within the call method right so accumulate method is just accumulating in 10 value 10 in every call right so accumulate and get method get method also we have used over here as well as in client program so this two, two api we have already seen we'll see some more api in this uh, double accumulator class so if we can see so here we can see some of the uh, methods like uh, 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 accumulate already we have seen so like byte value double value right equals this is getting inherited from the object so that I am not going to include in this so again we have a float value if you want to this collected value right so this whatever value is going to return by get method returns you the value in double if you want to get the return value in the I mean float then you have also provision to get the final result in float right so final result in float you can get like this right if you print you will get the almost similar result but in float see if I could print this value and you can see we are getting the same value but in float right now similarly if you are interested to uh, convert in some other data type like int then you have provision to convert into int you can convert in long short and of course double and get also converts you in double right then I'm going to explore this API get then reset right so before that uh, let's explore what is the functionality of reset method after that we'll see get and reset so so double accumulator dot something is called a uh, reset so what so after reset doesn't return any value so just you will have to call it so if you call reset and after that you will try to uh, get the if you try to print the value of this right if you try to uh, get the value accumulator value then this will this will basically reset uh, if this will reset the accumulated value so whatever value was accumulated by these two will be resetted and this will return you the only initial value so basically this uh, this double accumulator we are calling twice by call by execute to execute two tasks so this will return you the for two tasks initial value is 10 right and remaining value will be resetted so if I can run then you can see sorry this is returning you the uh, 15 because initial value was 5 and this 5 is getting accumulated uh, for these two tasks as well so this is returning you the 15 and remaining value uh, remaining uh, calculation for these two uh, was resetted so that's the use of reset now if I comment this one, I'm going to comment it and next I'm going to show you something is called
get and reset so basically this is the combination of two method get and then reset so get followed by reset so first this will get the existing value from double accumulator after that will reset the value so if you perform uh, so th first this will get the value current value after that that will reset so get followed by reset right so here uh, we have printed value in double so for that we get this value again we wanted to calculate value in float so that's why second value and after resetting just we are call calling uh, get and then reset right so 15 and again we are getting oh one minute for so first reset it then this will be more clear for you so uh, let's see now this will be more clear so first we are getting value in double right so let me show you first we are getting value in value in double right so th this is printing we are printing over here finally and after that we are getting the same value in float so that's why we have a float after that uh, sorry 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 so we get this result from first SOP then second SOP we are getting value in float itself and when we call get then reset then current value we are just getting after that internally that is getting resetted and when we call get method on it then we are getting the resetted value so that so use of use cases of get then reset first that will get the existing value after that that is just resetting so that's the huge case of this now uh, let's try if anything is left so most of the api we have seen accumulate these are the things already we have seen then then get we have seen then get we have, then reset we have seen the we have so almost we have seen almost almost all api which is available in uh, double accumulator accumulator class so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial if you understand complete this example then uh, please please watch my previous video tutorial uh, this code i'm going to upload on the github so that you can download and run in your machine and if you have uh, any questions or any queries then please do post below to this video uh, i will i will try to answer those queries and in next video tutorial i'm going to explore some more things in java java 8 itself so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial